Hey guys, we are going to start from where we left off yesterday. We had some friends that had a hard time with understanding what the equal sign means. So we're going to do the page together. So the first thing that I want us to remember, the equal sign means the same as. So sometimes we can have two plus three equals five. We know that's the same. But sometimes we can have an equation or a number sentence over here and a number sentence over here. So that's what we're working on today. So I want you to look at number three. Find partners that are equal. I see two number bonds here. What do you notice that's the same about these number bonds right here? What do you notice that's the same? Elena? They both have six, so we know that this side of the equal sign is going to make six, and this side of the equal sign is going to make six. Are we ever going to put six? No. no, we are not putting six, so don't think about putting six. We just know that this side will equal six, and this side will equal six. So let's look carefully. What is going to go in this number bond to make it complete? We have a five, a blank, and a six. Marlon, what's going to go there? Yes, a one. Please put a one. Okay. What are we going to put in this number bond to make it complete? Hudson, a two because two and four make six. So right now, I know I'm not allowed to put six. You see that? I'm marking it out. I'm not allowed to put six. Do you see what I did? I marked it out. I got rid of it because I'm not worried about that. I know they equal six. I want number sentences that are the same. So I'm going to say five plus what, Claire, equals six. Okay, so I've got five plus one equals six. Great. Now, Brock, what do I put on this side? Two plus four equals six. Perfect. So now, do you see my equal sign right here? Yeah. So guess what? I have a number sentence that goes on this side and a number sentence that goes on this side. Do you see it? Will I ever put six? No. No. I know that this side equals six, and I know this side equals six, but I'm never going to put six. Ever, ever, ever. I don't want to put six. So what should my first number sentence say? What should my first number sentence say, Chloe? One plus five. Right, one plus five in that box, in that circle. One plus five. Okay, so I've got one plus five. Woo, but am I going to write equal six? No. no. What do I put in my second number sentence? Carter? Yep, yeah, so I did that right here. So one plus five is six. But I'm not going to put equal six. What's going to go in my my other number sentence? What's going to go there, Emily? Oh, that is the smartest thing I've heard. She didn't say equal six. She said two plus four. Because what does two plus four equal? So did I ever write a six? No. But I know that two plus four and one plus five are the same. How are they both the same? Zayden. And what is that number, Landon? Yes, it made the number six. Make yours look like mine and let's go to the number four. We're going to number four. I've got two number bonds I need to fill in. 
What's the same about both those number bonds, Mason? What's the same about both of them? Oh, I'm sorry. You have friends that are talking. I couldn't hear you. Go ahead. No, we don't want to flip-flop them. Hunter, what's the same about both of these number bonds? They both have a perfect. So what goes in my first box right there? Two plus what equals eight? Not seven. Elena? Six. So what are you going to write in that first one? We're on this side. Yeah, this is where we are. All right. Oh, man. So what's going to go on the other number bond, Serenity? Four. Yep, because four plus four equals six. Oh, I mean equals eight. All right. Now. I'm ready to fill in that number sentence, but what do I need to get rid of first? What do I need to get rid of, Eric? No, if I get rid of the equal sign, then it all falls apart. Remember, it's got to be balanced, right? So what do you think? What should I do, uh, Leah? What should, what should... No, I don't want to take away the plus sign. I want to get rid of the eight because if I put eight, I am wrong. So let's go down to my first number sentence. Eight equals two plus what? Six. I hope you didn't put seven. Two plus six. Eight equals two plus six. Woo! Now what goes to the other one? Four plus what equals eight? Cameron. Four. Yep. Now, I have a number sentence and a number sentence, and I've got an equal sign. So what should go in my first number sentence, Elena? Uh, four. Sure, four plus four can go there. If we want to put four plus four, I don't care. Four plus four, are we going to write equals eight? Oh, what goes on the other side? We already know that four plus four equals eight. I need something else that's going to equal eight. Brock, what's going to go on the other side? Oh, yes. Two plus six. So now both of my sides are equal because they both equal what? Eight. I have eight on this side and I have eight on this side. But did I ever write the number eight? No. Make yours look like mine. Once it looks like mine, let's go to number five. Woo! But this one is a hard one because now we have this number sentence and this number sentence. But we don't know what they eat. We have to choose one of these number cards to go right here and one of these number cards to go right here to make both sides equal. So what do you think? Carter, what do you think? Okay, so Carter says five plus one equals Okay, all right, so he says five plus one is going to equal six. So then what goes on the other side to make it equal six? Landon, help them out. I'm sorry, I have two friends that are talking out. 
That's not being respectful of Landon, who has the floor. Yeah, we could put zero, and we would have to because zero plus six equals six, but is there a zero up here? No. So can we use the number one right there? All right, we can't use the number one, so we got to erase it. We can't make it make sense. Woo, this is hard thinking. So what could go on this side that's going to be the same as this side? Brock, what do you think? Angel, what do you think? Okay, so what would your first number sentence say? Oh, no, we're on the other side. We're on the other side. So, doesn't say two plus anything it says. Elena, what do you think? Five plus three equals two. Well, if I say five plus three, what does five plus three eight. equal? Eight. You see that? Five plus three equals eight. Well, how can we make this side equal eight? What could we put over here to make it equal eight? What do you think, Zayden? So five plus six equals eight. I don't think that one will work. Claire? Claire says we should put two. Does two plus six equal eight? No. Yes, it does. So now, is it equal? Do we have eight on this side? Do we have eight on this side? Okay. Make yours look like mine. After yours looks like mine, put it in your Go Notebook. Miss Isaac's class, put it in your desk, and you'll put it in your red folder before you go home. And now we are ready to start on our brand new lesson for today. Tell me what number did he make at the bottom? I have just put it in your gum notebook. You were reading. All right, you are ready in five, four. You have to see if it equals the same. So, what did we say that it equals? If you get a different pencil, that will help. Right now, you're trying to hold a piece of lead in there. Get your other pencil. That's why we always get to. Then you'll have to go get one of. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm going to take you to our focus wall over here. What domain? What's our telescope lens? What are we going to work on till the end of the year? Algebraic thinking. Operations and algebraic thinking. Do we have to get it right today? Yeah. No, because we're going to work on it until when? The end of the year, right? Now, we're still working in this cluster or this binocular view. We still are far out. We're going to work on this all week. We're going to work with addition and subtraction sentences, right? But today, our job is to understand the meaning of the equal sign. So, I need you to recognize we're still working in operations and algebraic thinking. We don't have to get it right today, but we got to know it by the end of the year. And our job today is to understand that the equal sign means the same as. 
So whatever I have on this side, I have to have on this side. Right, Landon? So it's got to be the same, Harlan. Okay. Would you please read our job with me? I can, I can. understand the meaning of the equal sign. All right, we are going to be counting by twos with Jack Hartman, and it's not going to let us, so we are going to count by twos ourselves. Are you ready? We're going to 50, okay? Here we go. So I need your hands in your on your desk or in your lap. I need your eyes on me. Miss Isaac's class, feet on the floor, knees under your desk, and we are ready to begin. Here we go. We're going to count by twos. Go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, forty-two, forty-four, forty-six, forty-eight. 50. Good job. Now we're going to whisper it. Are you ready? I don't have everybody ready. I still don't have everybody ready. Okay. Put it on that desk. That way it won't distract you. Here we go. Whisper, go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, forty-two. Now, I want you to say it in a first grade voice. Go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, forty-two, forty-four. 46, 48, 50. All right, we are ready to uh, be quick about our addition facts. I know that you have learned partners of six, partners of seven, partners of eight, partners of nine, and partners of 10. So, Miss Roland, I'm ready for you to pass this out to our friends. Those of you at home, these are on. Um, your desks here. You can work on those later, or you can just look at them on the board and um, solve them on your whiteboard. When I give you this paper, please just put it face down. Write your name on the back. Top three friends are going to get two chocolates. If you flip it over before you're ready to start, you will be disqualified. Meeting you don't get the opportunity to earn the chocolates because that would be cheating. If you are turned around talking, then you will be disqualified because I might think that you're giving an answer to a friend. Oh, my friends are not starting. So flip it over. You are only worried about yourself, not your friends. On your mark. Oh, get set. 
Friends. Now let's check to see. Let's check to see. I'm ready. Please follow along as we write in our answers. If you got one incorrect, I'm going to need you to correct it. If you got some uh, that you didn't fill in yet, make sure you fill them in. Here we go. Four plus four is Hudson. Eight plus two is Kaylee Ann. Ten plus zero is Mason. Six plus two is Serenity. Three plus four is Leah. No. Three plus four is Hunter. One plus six is Dallas. Five. Not five, Chloe. One plus six is seven. Four plus six is player. Five plus four is Eric. Three plus five is Camden. Zero plus seven is Zayden. Two plus five is Carter. Eight plus one is Harlan. One plus five is Cameron. One plus six is Emily. And five plus five is Angel. You got it. Make yours look like mine. If you didn't get them all filled in, Go ahead and do that. We are adding subtracting. So you need to put one plus eight is put that in your go notebook, Miss Isaac's class. Put that inside your desk and you will put it in your red folder um, when you line up this afternoon. Thank you, Chloe, for doing it quickly and quietly. Thank you, Mason, for doing it quickly and quietly. You both may flip up. Go 
go ahead and get your whiteboard marker and eraser out. Thank you, Brock, for being ready quickly. Thank you, Chloe, again, for being ready quickly. Okay, hey, Miss Isaac's class, you need to have your whiteboard marker and eraser out. I am ready to read you your problem of the day. Tom made a gingerbread house with two gumdrops and six jelly beans. How many pieces of candy did Tom use in his gingerbread house? I need you to draw a picture. Ooh, write a number sentence and a number bond. And then write a sentence that answers this question. How many pieces of candy did Tom use on his gingerbread house? So please go ahead. You've got three minutes. I will set a timer. I need to see a picture, a number sentence, a number bond, and the answer to my question. Hey, this is a locker. I see some friends that have done a great job with their picture and number sentence or a number bond and a number sentence, but you're forgetting you have to have all of those. So you've got to have three things plus a sentence, okay? Three things plus a sentence. All right. Let's take a look. I'm going to let Landon start us off. Landon, Tom made a gingerbread house with two gumdrops and six jelly beans. What does your picture look like? All right. So his picture looks like this. Two gumdrops. And 
six jelly beans. Do you see it? So does that look like a picture that matches the words? Yeah. Okay. Now, um, Serenity, what would your number sentence look like? She said two plus six equals eight. Would that match the picture that I just drew? Yep, two gumdrops plus six jelly beans, and that equals eight pieces of candy in all. All right, um, Hudson, what is your number bond going to look like? All right, so your number bond should look like this. Because we know the two littlest numbers go in the little box and the biggest number goes in the big box, right? So now we have all three parts that we're supposed to have to show our thinking. Now what we need to do is answer this in a complete sentence. Okay, tell me, Chloe, how did you answer this? Um, there are eight in all. Okay, there are eight in all. Is there a way we could be a little more specific, Carter? Very good. So he used his name, Tom. Tom used eight pieces of candy. That is great because he used all of the words that were in the question. Tom used eight pieces of candy. All right. Make yours look like mine. Once it looks like mine, you may put that away and get out your instruction book. Make yours look like mine. Get your instruction book out. Page 64. You need to be on page 64. Okay. All right. Chloe's ready. Kaylee Ann's ready. Word I see is draw. So that tells me in this box, I'm going to have to draw to show my thinking. It says, is three plus five the same as five plus three? We have to know if that is valid. So the first thing that I want us to do is to draw a picture of that. So I want you to draw what you think three plus five would look like. Raise your hand if you can tell me what that might look like. Chloe, what do you think that might look like? Um, three stars. Okay. Five circles. So she says three stars. Five circles. Cool. Let's do it. Great idea. Now, what I want you to do is after you've drawn that, I want you to circle it. And then under it, I want you to write how many you have inside that circle. 
After you've drawn it, what page should we be on? Now, how many are inside that circle, Claire? Eight are inside it. Very good. Now, I want you then to draw an equal sign because that's what we just drew. Three plus five. Now, what should our other side look like? What do you think our other side is going to look like, Eric? No, because that's not what it says up here. It says is three plus five the same as five plus three? Brock, what do you think? Well, okay, How, what am I going to draw on this side? Because remember, it says draw. I have to draw something. What should I draw over here? Five what? Sure. Okay. Now draw a circle around that and then count how many you've got in that circle. Draw a circle around that and count how many you've got. Angel. Say it again. Hey, very good. So now our job was to draw to explain. Does three plus five equal five plus three? Yes or no? Yes, it does because I can see. On this side, how many do I have? On this side, how many do I have? So, is that true, yes or no? Yes. So, you need to write yes beside it because that is a true statement. Three plus five is the same as five plus three. All right. Let's look at number three. Uh-oh. Now we've got to figure out which ones of these are true. So we're going to put an X over the ones that are not true. And we're going to circle the ones that are. So let's start right here. Four is the same as six. Do you think that's true or do you think that's false? Thumb up if it's true. Thumb down if you don't think that's right. Okay, Claire says false. You are exactly right, Claire. It is false because I don't want four pieces of candy and then get six. That's not the same. So I want you to put an X over four equals six. 
Oh, now I've got some friends that are ready. Okay, let's look at the next one. One plus three is the same as two plus two. Brock says, oh yeah, that's true, Brock. How do you know? It doesn't tell me. How do you know that's right? One plus three. Um, one plus four. So Brock says this one equals four. Do you see that? One plus three equals four. So this side equals four. And Brock, what does two plus two equal? Four. So Brock says two plus two equals four. So do you have the same number on both sides? Yes, you do. We have four on one side and four on the other, so we need to circle it. Go ahead and circle it. All right, let's look at this next one. Two plus seven is the same as five plus three. How are we going to know if that's right? What do you think, Carter? Oh, okay. So he said, well, let's add it up. Seven or two plus seven equals nine. So everybody write that. He said two plus seven equals nine. Cool. All right, so Carter, now what are we going to do about the other one? Oh, so we said we got to figure out what 5 plus 3 is. 5 plus 3 is 8, so go ahead and write that in. Oh, is 9 the same as 8? No. Let me tell you right now. If I had 9 pieces of gum and then got 8 pieces of gum, you still look and say, what? That's not fair. That's more. So, Bryson, I know that one's not equal. So, I'm going to mark an X through it. I'm going to mark an X through it. All right. So, every time we have to figure out what each side equals, right? Let's go to the top one. We have seven on this side. So, how many do we have on this side? Do we need to add anything? No, there's nothing to add. It's just by itself. So then what does 4 plus 3 equal? What does 4 plus 3 equal, Cameron? Uh, it equals 7. So what do I have on each side, Cameron? 4 and 3. No, that's not what I have on both sides. What do I have on both sides, Angel? No, nope, on both sides I have a seven and a seven, so that means they are equal. Circle it. All right. Let's look at the next one. Four plus two is the same as one plus six. Chloe, what should I do? How am I going to figure it out? Um. Well, how do I know? I don't. I don't know. I've got to do something in order to figure out if it's right. Um, if you have four and you add two, it doesn't make. What is four plus two? It's six. She says that's six. All right. So then, what is one plus six, Chloe? Seven.
is the same as 4 plus 6. Landon, I feel like you know it. What do you think? He says it's true. How do you know, Landon? We have to do something. Oh, I love it. He figured it out that we have 10 on both sides. We have 10 on both sides. So I need you to circle it. Excellent. Hey, very good. Now, make sure yours looks like mine. Every time we did one, we had to check to see if this side was the same as this side. Could we just guess? No, we actually figured out what each side equaled and we were able to see. That's what you're going to have to do. Got it? All right, so let's go to our next one. This one says, make a true number sentence. So the very first thing I want us to do is look at this one. I see one side already is made. How much does this side make? How much does this side make, Mason? How much does this side make? Kaylee Ann, how much does this side make? 10. Everybody put a 10. Now, what do you think our other side is going to have to make, Hudson? No, it can't make nine because this side makes 10. This side has to do what, Eric? Okay, so what would make it balanced? That's right. What would make it balanced? Oh, so you know that it has to be 10. So Eric says, hey. Let's put five plus five. Is that the only one we could choose? No. What else can we choose, Hunter? Oh, well, we could. We could put seven plus three, but I think we could find other ways to do it. What do you think, Emily? Woo! We could do nine plus one. What else can we do, Serenity? Four and six. There's one more that we could do, Brock. Two plus eight. Any of those would be okay because they all equal ten. Do you have another one? That's right. We could have put zero plus ten. Good thinking. Very good. All right. Let's look at the next one. Here we go. I need this to be equal. So, Bryson, what is Four plus five. I gotta figure out the one side. Nine. Yep, it's nine. So that means this side over here has to be what? Angel. What does this other side have to be? One. Cameron, what does the other side have to be? It can be four. Okay, what does it have to equal? So what if it? Nine. You're right. They both have to be nine, right? So what number sentence could we put here to make that balance like Eric was saying earlier? What could it be? Yep. Cameron says nine and zero. What's another one, Bryson? Eight plus one. Eight plus one would be another great answer because that equals nine. Landon, do you have another one? Three and six. There's one more. Does anybody know what that one is? What do you think, Chloe? Yep, seven plus two. Guys, 
That's awesome. Look at what you're doing. You are figuring out or understanding what the equal sign means. You know that if one side is nine, the other side has to be nine. Awesome job. Okay, here's what I want you to do. I need you to put that away. Miss Isaac's class, I need you to get your teddy bear workbook out. It looks like this. I need you to open your teddy bear workbook to page 87 and 88 and I need you to tear that out and hand it to Miss Roland. We will work on that tomorrow. I need you to tear it out and hand it to Miss Roland. Everybody write your name on it and hand it to Miss Roland. If you are at home, tear that page out of your teddy bear workbook and you will work on that and return it um, when you come back. Friends.